So the naive Bayes model you can uh, think of as an extension of linear regression. It also uh, requires um, numeric variables. It's also very fast, uh, like linear regression, although it should be an improvement in most cases over a regular linear regression. So without getting into too many details, it supplements, here's Microsoft's actual uh, statement on the, on the difference. Bayesian approach uses linear regression supplemented by additional information in the form of prior probability distributions. Prior information about parameters is combined with the likelihood function to generate estimates for the parameters. So uh, it's not a bad read to read up on naive Bayes models and how they work. They've been around for a while. Again, their advantage is that they're very fast, um, not necessarily consistently as accurate compared to some of the other models that they have, but it should be an improvement at least over linear regression um, a good part of the time. So let's test it out. Uh, I'm going to close out this one I was using before. Let's go back to one of my bike buyers examples. That should be plenty sufficient to show how this is going to work. So um, let's take the prediction we did before. The linear regression, where is it? There it is. All right. So let's um, check our R squared real quick with the linear regression on this model. So we're predicting uh, whether or not people purchased a bike. We got a 10.5 R squared. Um, oh, I can't remember. I don't think we get an R squared. Ooh, I'll have to take a quick look. Let's see what other, um, okay, root mean squared error, pretty high, 0.95 almost. So let's keep track of those numbers. RMSE 0.95-ish, R squared 0.105. Okay, let's delete this one out of there. Let's pull in our naive Bayes. Plug that in. Um, oh, by the way, this is a useful feature. Always leave this checked. Allow unknown categories, uh, categorical features. So when you have uh, uh, categorical variables, like we have um, uh, education, comes with partial high school, high school, college. When we use our model to predict uh, new data, when we get new information that we want to predict against, uh, leaving this checked will allow people to enter categorical values that have never occurred before in the existing data. So if someone puts in a new education level like PhD or something like that, uh, the model will still work even with that rather than just breaking and not working at all. So anyway, just leave that one checked. Let's go ahead and run this. All right, let's take a look here. Um, R squared up. Oh, is that up? Only a little bit, if at all. Now I want to double check. I can't remember. We were pretty close to 10.5 on the other one. I think it's only a fraction higher. Um, RMSE is really pretty close too. So in this case, it didn't do us a whole lot of good. Let's see if we can find... Um, Another example of where it might do a little bit more good. Uh, but actually, one more check real fast here. I'm going to copy this number. So this is our naive Bayes number. Let's go back and do our linear regression one more time. Get that running. I'm going to forget this again, so let me just go ahead and paste this in here now. All right, let's see here. Evaluate model with linear regression. Okay, so it was a little bit smaller or a little bit better with the naive Bayes. Not a whole lot, but enough that that could make a difference, at least some difference. So again, naive Bayes, generally speaking, is going to be a little bit better than linear regression, fast like linear regression, um, but not quite as accurate, generally speaking, as some of the other options that we have. Although um, you can never guarantee that for sure. You always have to check every one of the algorithms and see which one does the best job. Cool, that'll do it for naive bees.